And if people looking up for me, I, I know how much power and influence I got over the community. And if I can lead them in the right direction, I thought that's what I should do because other rappers of my generation that was rapping at the time, they never told me it was wrong. They only told me, let's get it. Let's go trap or die. They only told me to do that. So I want the trap or die. I want the let's get it. And if it's a rapper that's saying, nah, let's get it in another way, then if I can say that and I know my voice counts, I know I'm being heard, then I'm going to say it. Who inspires you? My biggest inspiration in life would have to be people like Young Jeezy, you know. He inspired me in the wrong way or whatnot, but he was a big inspiration on my life to get some money. You know what I'm saying? Like, he was my motivation. Um, Gucci Man, he inspired me, you know, when he when he got out of prison and I seen how he did a 360. Peace, peace, peace. This your brother Monroe Jr. I like uh, that Rollo kept it 100, you know and talked about how Jeezy was his biggest influence even though him in a mature more enlightened mind frame right now saying you know it was in a negative way though and if a lot of us are honest I mean I remember in high school I was I was jamming trap or die too you know what I'm saying <laughs> I wasn't trapping but I was jamming trap or die you know, I had some little things I did. You know, my thing was hustling, gambling. I didn't get into selling drugs or none of that. But, I, boy, I was about that, that gambling life. But as we reflect on the different influences in our life, it helped to shape and mold us. See, the creator, he has a certain way of shaping and molding us to show us uh, you better than that you know or mm, that ain't really what it is or mm, I'm gonna let you taste a dibble and dabble in this so that you will be wise enough to help so many of our people who are doing the same thing see when the condition is prevalent and God wants to use you he has to Give you a taste of what the people is going through or what's going on around you. You can't really affect change if you can't relate to the people. So our brother Rallo, God had to put him in a, a in in the in a circumstance that was fire. Sometimes we put our own selves in the circumstance, but it's all a learning lesson if we're wise. If we're wise enough to learn from uh, the experience. So you know, I like Rallo, man. I hope if he's blessed to come out, I know he's going to affect major change. These brothers are leaders because they were wise enough to know that the public food, uh, the public school system doesn't work. So they naturally gravitated to the streets to try to get it, to try to to be entrepreneurial. It's just that our avenues uh, are not open to us in certain uh wiser ways i would say we don't have mentorship in our community and that's another thing brother we got to get busy mentoring our young people man we gotta we gotta get busy it's on us it's on us today not sitting here on the internet commenting on each other videos but we ain't doing no work in the community so man shout out to rollo i like rollo shout out to jeezy jeezy has matured a lot you know what I'm saying? G Jeezy, man, he's come a long way in his growth and development. And not to down Jeezy in any way because he's just a victim as well. He's just a victim of society, a victim of white supremacy, a victim of white America. You know what I'm saying? Like everything that happens in our community will puns on the chessboard so don't look down on yourself or don't look down on your people we got to look at the hand that's moving the pieces on the chessboard we can't be surface dwellers we gotta dive a little deeper right we gotta look beyond the surface right so um jeezy he even said one of his mentors was the honorable minister louis farrakhan you know what I'm saying? So he's a wise man because he's 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 learning from wise men. You know, two chains. He said one of his mentors is the Honorable Minister Louis Farrakhan, a man who has had the entire government 
against him. Still 80, 86 years young and speaking truth to power. Well, there's something about that man that we need to study. If like Jesus, an entire government has tried to destroy him, but has not been able to destroy him. In fact, he has built a nation in the midst of his enemies. That's a man we need to study. And that's a man we need to search on YouTube to see what he's seen. Because it's something in his mouth that is resurrecting the dead mentally morally spiritually economically we are being raised as as black people from the voice of farrakhan and our enemies hate it but this is our day family but we'll never be able to say we didn't have a master teacher in our midst because most of us know of the minister So I would just say, family, that that strive to be around wise people that's giving us wise counsel. We don't need no punks in front of us today because our youth, this is the most fearless generation ever produced. And like, and like the youngsters in the, chi in the children of Israel, they were ready to take the land from the giants, but the elders were some cowards. So God allowed the cowards to die out to wander around in the promised land. And he allowed the young people to inhabit the promised land because the young people were not scared of white supremacy. The young people were not scared to tell the enemy to his face that you're wrong. The young people were not scared to stand on the front line in front of the police. The young people were not scared to organize and mobilize to try to create change. This your brother Monroe Jr. I'm signing out. Peace.